Hello, welcome to all, whether you are a new viewer or a returning one. In today's video, we're going to discuss a product called Postgres.new. As you already probably saw the title, I'm questioning or asking the question, is Postgres plus AI equal Postgres.new? And that's what we're going to figure out today. That said, let's go ahead and get started. Take a look at the screen. You can click on the new database, diagrams, migrations, this is as the text mentions there, the documentation and the comment, every step that is created is going to be documented here. Script and everything else, which makes it very useful. And of course, your diagram is going to be your entity relational diagram. And this is your prompt. You can attach files or not. In this case, I'm just going to be creating prompts and I'm going to tell them or actually state, create, a database that will be utilized for managing our inventory. Let's look at the screen. It's telling us it's working on it. And just as mentioned, we have the tables that are related. Okay. Let's count any tuplas there. Count tuplas in all tables. We'll see if there's any data in there. There shouldn't be as expected. So let's ask Postgres.new to populate it. Populate the tables all across with a thousand records for the product or the suppliers, the products table or the product table. Keep in mind, actually take into account any primary and foreign keys. Match two plus for the related tables. And let's see what happens. It's working on it. And of course, it ran into some issues. But also, notice it's adjusting modifying the logic and notice that's pretty good. Let's count the tuples again in all tables. And it matches to exactly what it said. It seems to be some problem, but it's still going on. But let's wait for it to finish. I just jumped the gun pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay. Let's count again. Count two plus in all tables. And now it is fully to complete. We expect a CD. Great. One biggest question that most of the time we ask ourselves is how can I optimize my database? Let's ask. Optimize or state actually the database. You'll see what, what ideas it comes with. It's going to create indexes or apply those optimizations. Great. It went ahead and proceeded. Now, how can we go and assess the data that we have there? There's a few things that are really useful here. I didn't know about them until I tried them. Export the data and the tables to CSV files, which as you already know, that's pretty common whenever you want to export your shit. Not always, and there it is. Better yet, generate sales charts from the existing data. Okay. Okay, then I have to make a wrong state. Generate charts from the existing data in the database. Maybe that's a prompt. Okay, it's working. It looks a lot better. And there we go. Look at that. 
Yes, I probably didn't state the prompt correctly, but you get the idea. You can create charts from it and also export the charts. The whole point of this video was to test the status of Postgres Enable. And it's amazing what they have already. I can't wait to see what other new additions are coming up. Right now, it only works on the browser, desktop browser. It doesn't work on the mobile, just in case you thought you could access it. I just tried that and it didn't work. But it's amazing what they have achieved so far. I'm looking forward to seeing what else they come up through. Stay tuned. We have more videos coming through. And comment, like, share, subscribe. Let us know what, any ideas for videos that you might want or topics. See you in the next video.